morning, sweetheart. Don't good morning me. Where were you last night? Stan took me to see a Punch and Judy show. I'm getting sick and tired of this. It's Stan here, Stan there. Stan wants me to go here, Stan wants me to go there. I tell you, it's beginning to get on my nerves. Why, you ought to be ashamed to even be seen on the street with him. But I tell you, I understand. Well, why don't you answer the telephone? All right. Oh, Hello? Is that you, Ollie? Yes? Say, listen, I just got a couple of tickets for tonight for the Cement Workers Bazaar. Can you come along? We might win a prize. They're going to give away a steam shovel. Yes, Mr. Jones. Thank you very much, Mr. Jones. I certainly appreciate it. Goodbye, Mr. Jones. Well, who was that? That was Mr. Jones, my new boss. Oh. He's having a big business meeting tonight, and he wants me to attend. All of the out-of-town boys are going to be there. Big, influential men. Just the kind of men that you want me to associate with. Oh, at last you're beginning to get someplace. It'll do me a lot of good. Why, naturally. It'll have a tendency to promote me to higher endeavors. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Hey, Ollie, this is me. Oh, hello, Mr. Jones. Oh, don't you worry. I'm quite sure it'll be all right. Goodbye, Mr. Jones. I just came to tell Ollie that was me on the phone. Mr. Jones! Well, honey, now, if you'll just wait. Oh, now, wait, honey, darling, now, wait. Mr. Jones! Oh, no, wait, 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 Did you ask her about going out tonight? What'd she say? You heard what she said. Well, what's the matter with her anyway? Oh, I don't know. She says that I think more of you than I do of her. Well, you do, don't you? Well, we won't go into that. You know what the whole trouble is? What? What you need is a baby in your house. Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, if you, if you had a baby and you, it would keep your wife's mind occupied and you could go out nights with me and she'd never think anything about it. All your troubles would be over. Wouldn't think a thing about it. Oh, I think that's a pretty good idea. You bet your life it's a good idea. You know, it's a well-known fact that all the happiness in a home, when you have a baby and, and, and there's a wife and you and the w baby, it's a well-known fact. I know, I've read about that. 
I'm beginning to think that you're right. You bet your life I'm right. You know, I'm not as dumb as you look. You bet your life you're not. Anybody that could think. What do you mean, you are not as dumb as I look? Well, I, you just... Come on. Where are you going? We're going to adopt a baby. What for? Come on. What for? This. Thanks. Uh, what's the occasion? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Here, you hold the baby while I go in and break the news. Careful now. Won't she be surprised? Arabella. You. What's the matter? She's not here. Where'd she go? No, oh, I suppose she went. How do I know where she is? Come in. You, Mr. Hardy? Yes, sir. A little present for you. What's this? Your wife is suing you for divorce. Gee, that's tough. Your name, Laurel? Yes, ma'am. Sir? This is tougher. What's this? You're being sued for the alienation of Mr. Hardy's affections. And she'll take you hook, line, and sinker. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. These are the adoption papers in your name. Well, I'll be seeing you. Where are you going? I'm just going down. Well, you can't leave me here with this child. Why? Why? Why, you're just as much responsible for it as I am. What have I got to do with it? What have you got to do with it? What have you got to do with it? Well, you were the one that wanted me to have a baby. And now that you've gotten me into this trouble, you want to walk out and leave me flat. Well, I don't know anything about babies. Well, you should have thought of that before we got it. I don't want to get mixed up in this thing. I have my future, my career to think of. Your career. What about me? What will my friends say? Why, I'll be ostracized. Well, I'm going to lose my hook, line, and sinker. So, you're going to desert me. Just when I need you most. Oh. You are not leaving this room. Well, I could not get it. <laughs> oh, now you've gone and done it. Go in the kitchen and fix some milk. Go ahead. <laughs> Who was it? Somebody complaining about the baby. Oh, making a noise. How do you expect me to get this baby quiet? Well, I was doing, doing the best I could. Well, here, you hold it a while. I'm all fagged out. Oh. I wonder what's the matter with it. I don't know. Maybe it's hungry. Why don't you give it something to eat?
What do you keep the milk in there for? I put it there to keep it warm. Stuck. Here, you hold the baby. Now, would you mind fixing the bed? Thank you. What did you strike that match for? I want to see if the switch was off. That's a good idea. Get that floor lamp. I don't want you striking matches all night long. Couldn't see whether the switch was off or not. Mm! Baby's crying. No, of course he's crying. Will you put this lamp over there? Well, it won't reach. It certainly it won't reach. You've got to pull the plug out of the socket. Here. Must make a noise, make it quietly. What are you putting that cotton in your ears for? Well, if I make a noise, I won't be able to hear it.
Drinking the baby. <laughs> 